My name is Daniel Olekipilosh from Kenya. I'm introducing to you a Mai Tai, which is the cow bell belt. How it's being prepared, the uses who prepares it. And we prepare it using a Finnish cow skin and as a way to make it easy, uh, easy to cut, we bury it in the cow dug for at least five to seven days. And this is done to make it easy to cut for crafting. And also uh, make it easy to make the, the type of the uh, Mai Tai that we need because we, they vary from either 5 or 4 up to 12 um, threads depending on what, um, what somebody wants. Many times we, uh, when we are making this belt, it is either for, uh, for goats or for sheep or for bulls. And so the most important thing here is the kind of technology that, uh, that is used uh, because it is transferable from uh, elders to, uh, from, from uh, one generation to another by elders. And the reason why we bury is because that is the only way we can make it easy. Remember, this is a finished skin. It might be hard to cut. And so we make it easy by burying. Uh, when you look at it, uh, uh, you know, when holding uh, the, the, the belt, one, it looks very nice. It is, it is also beautifies uh, either the, the bull or, or, or the goat or uh, any animal that wears. But again, the belt itself is used for communication. Sometimes when uh, animals are grazing in the field or in the forest, it can communicate and you'll be able to trace where the cows, where the goats are. And so it is very, very important uh, uh, in, our, in our culture, in our lifestyle. And that is why we, we will really treasure it. Nadine, Na <laughs> 
naa esiai yo ormaasai neeku inji taa etiu ninye orkuak lang la ormaasai ene dip ena netaa enkiteng epiki kake eta nasheti tena ore ena neta nagira aendelea ashet ena naa ore sininye ena ore peepiki enkorkor naa inji ake ikunakini ena ena atu udokuni wueji naud kunda paareshi neeku inji taa etiu 